Previously on the bottom line, we showed you how to accumulate a subtotal and calculate the sales taxes on those items. But where I left you with a bit of a cliffhanger was, what do we do if not all of those items are taxable? The assumption here in this example is that all of these items are taxable. What if only certain items are taxable? The answer is, there is definitely a way to do it in Excel. So let's just say we come up with a convention for a marker like the letter T for anything that's taxable. And we can put that letter T next to each item that is in fact taxable. So let's say that these three items in the middle here are our taxable items. Then the question is how do we accumulate sales tax just on those items? And the answer is as follows. We have to write a formula that's called a sum if, which means add these only if a certain condition is true. And that condition, of course, in this case, is going to be that it has a T next to it. So instead of the sales tax formula written the way it, it, it was written, we're going to delete that, and we're going to start off by typing equals, and we're going to type out the word sum if. It's one word, and we're looking for the range. So what we're saying is first we want to check this range here, and then comma, what, what, what are we going to find in that range in order to assert, in a sense, that we have a match? We're going to find the letter T. So you just put a T there, or actually put it in quotes to let Excel know that we're actually looking for that text. And then when you find a match, sum the corresponding item in this range that's to its left. The trick here is that the range sizes have to equal. They have to be the same, otherwise it won't work. So if one is from row 2 to 6, then the other one also has to be from row 2 to 6. So now what we've done is we've, we're, we're telling it, add only those items where there's a T next to it. Then, once you've got that information, multiply it by the sales tax rate. And let's see if that works. Let's see if we get a good result. So, And we can test it out just to be sure. So the reality is the sum of these three items is $49. $49 times the 9.75% is in fact $4.78. So that's how we know it works. Now we can you know, change it. So let's say we say, oh no, this item is not taxable, but this one is, we put that there. And of course, if all the items are taxable, we're right back where we started, but now it's being figured on the basis that there's a T next to every single one of these items. So that is how you would do it in such a way where you'd want to specify certain criteria in order to tell Excel when and if, and only when and if, to add up certain items for the purposes of a component of the calculation. So now with this in place, we've got the subtotal for all of them, but then the sales tax is only on the items that have been marked with a T. Now in terms of form, this may not be the best. We may want to separately show here's the subtotal for the taxable and here's the subtotal for the non-taxable. That's another situation for another screencast. In the meantime, I hope that you have found this one extremely valuable and useful, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.